Microsoft tips and tricks, everything you need to know. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys 10 tips and tricks that you can use to improve your productivity using Outlook. Now, Outlook is one of the native applications present in Microsoft 365 for emails and calendars. It's one of the top picks out there when it comes to using emails and sending out emails professionally, and it can be a great tool to use. So let's jump right in. Now to get started on Outlook, first off, you can head on over to Microsoft 365. Now Outlook, if you have purchased any of Microsoft's plans, is going to be included in their plans. And using these features and techniques can significantly help and boost your productivity and efficiency, whether you're a seasoned professional or new to Outlook. These tips will help you streamline your email management and improve your overall experience. Now, Microsoft Outlook is not just an email client. It's a powerful tool for your communications, calendars, and tasks. With its vast array of features, knowing how to utilize them effectively can save you a lot of time and effort. Now, I'm going to click on sign in because I already have an account. If you don't have an account already, you can sign up with your email. And I am just going to skip this for now. And we're going to proceed on to our Outlook inbox. Now, this is what your Outlook inbox is going to look like. So the first and most important thing is customization of your inbox view. To make your inbox more manageable, you can customize its appearance. You can change the layout or add columns to display important information. You can right click on the column header and choose arrange by or view settings to modify your inbox's feel and look. So you guys can see that I have one email over here. I can filter this out and filter out certain emails, including invites, mentions that have attached files, flagged emails, unread emails. Then we have different folders in which our items are grouped together. Below that, you can also utilize groups and create groups of different niches or different tags and categorize emails in the same way as well. Now, moving forward, there are a few quick steps for automations. Quick steps allows you to automate repetitive tasks like categorizing emails or moving them to specific folders. To create a new quick step, you can navigate to the home tab and then click on quick steps. So you're going to go into your home tab and then from there you can even search for quick steps over here and once you go into quick steps like so you're going to be able to create email management techniques and this is going to help you in managing your emails very easily currently i can't find it in my search box but we can actually find it over here when we actually have more mail now the next thing you can do is you can efficiently organize emails with folders and rules utilizing folders and rules can help you keep your inbox organized you can set up rules by going into the file tab and selecting managing rules and alerts this can help you in defining based upon subject, calendar, sender, or keywords. This automation will make everything very easy to categorize with incoming emails. Now, the next thing you can do is utilize your search folder for easy access. Search folders compile emails that match specific criteria, making it easy to find important messages. You can create a search folder by going into the folder tab and clicking on new search folder. Then you can choose a template or create a custom tailored one for your particular needs. Now, moving forward, we can also schedule email delivery. When we draft an email, we can schedule them for delivery later on using the delay delivery feature. After composing your email, click on options and then select delay delivery, and you can set your desired date and time before you send it out. So if I was to compose a brand new email, I am going to send this to abc at hotmail.com. And then whatever mail I have, you guys can see, I can click on send and this is going to be sent. Now, if I click on send directly, it's going to be sent instantaneously. However, if I click on over here, I can click on schedule send and I can schedule a custom time to send out my emails as well. Now, another really amazing thing you can do is you can turn emails into tasks or calendar events. You can quickly convert emails into tasks or calendar events by dragging the email onto the task list icon or onto your calendar icon on your Outlook. This helps you manage your responsibilities more easily. I have this, which is an ad. I don't have any actual mail right now. I'm going to recover 
an email that I have so I can actually show you guys. But if I drag this item into tasks or my calendar, then I would have the ability to directly create a event or a task from my mail. You can also use mentions to grab attention. Whenever you are composing an email, you can use the at mention to draw attention to specific individuals. This feature automatically adds them to the recipient list and highlights their name in the message, ensuring that they notice it. You can also color code your calendar. You can implement color coding in your calendar for quick recognition of key messages and appointments. This can be a visual aid that helps you prioritize tasks at a glance. You can also streamline communication by cleaning up conversations by removing any redundant messages while only keeping the most relevant details in your mailbox. You can also set up email signatures and create professional looking email signatures that automatically append on your outgoing messages. To do so, go to file and then select options, then mail and then click on signature. So you're just going to go into file and then select your options and then you're going to be able to set up your e-signature. Now, if you click on the top right, you will also see different options for accessibility as well as editor. You can click on editor and open up the editor, which allows you to check your grammar and spellings to ensure that all of your emails are professional. So you can also scroll around between people, calendar, groups, to-do list, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and easily have everything combined in one space so everything is synced up and whenever you need a certain bit of information, you're able to access your calendar at a glance. You can also create different events and send out event invites via email in Outlook. And these are the amazing features that can help you in improving your experience on Outlook. Incorporating these tips into your daily routine can transform how you use Microsoft Outlook. And customizing your inbox view with quick steps and these strategies will enhance your productivity and help you manage communications. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video